Um, so I went to Pole, I walked there, and I'm not really sure what happened. I've been, I don't know, I can't, I just feel like I can't think straight or anything and I can't I string a sentence together apparently. Um, but as I was walking there, I kept having this thought in my mind, like, just turn back round, just go back home. But I went against it and I went and when I felt like that before, I do that and I get there and, you know, I feel anxious and I feel I've lost my confidence a bit. But, um, I didn't expect to do this on, uh, so, walked in and, you know, the girls are there, everything's as it always is. Um, and then uh, I was working with the two girl, two girls that I'd say I know the most out of the group, and I just couldn't get myself on the pole. I just felt like I'd lost all my confidence. So that resulted in me leaving the room, the studio, and went to the toilet. And you know, when you're just self, doing the self-talk, like, come on, you're all right, get a grip. Like, yeah, so I spent about 20 minutes in the toilet, in tears. Um, yeah, I come back out and I felt like I had tunnel vision. But like the walls were coming in on me, like everything was coming. It's hard to explain. Basically, I had a panic attack. And. Uh, I couldn't speak to anybody, I just grabbed my stuff and left. Oh. Oh. I'm so upset because my anxiety, I've always struggled with it and I struggle to keep up with things. and stay on top of things and uh, it's really starting to affect the pole now and I don't want it to because I really enjoy it and I don't want to be the problem child it's, it was my um, my break my something to look forward to and now I just feel like I've made a big deal out of it I just couldn't get, I just couldn't control it today. Oh. And now I don't want anyone to feel sorry for me. I just, I'm just being real. Ugh. Like I said, I would, I said I'll be honest. Um. I said I'll be honest about how I'm feeling and that on this challenge. I don't know if maybe the raw till four it it's not for me because the sugar intake is so high with the fruit and I know it's fruit so it's natural sugars. But I think possibly I don't know, maybe that's too much and um the orange juice that I had yesterday, I could only drink half of it because I fell off my head. My anxiety was here. But I was like, those that know, know what I mean. I just felt like off my head. Um, I feel like I've put weight on. I don't know, maybe this is normal when this is how people feel because, you know, your body's changing. 
not you're detoxing from certain things that uh, I don't know. My skin is absolutely horrendous. It hasn't been like that for a lot of years. But again, I just keep telling myself it's all right. You just it's detoxing. I don't know. All I do know is, no, I don't know. I feel like every decision I make is the wrong one. <sighs> like this one, probably. Um, I could so have had a drink today. So, I could so have had a drink. I haven't and I won't even though I could and that would have been my go-to in the past it doesn't matter I can think these things but I know that that won't happen um so yeah I had a look a little chocolate binge yes it is vegan and yes I'm allowed it but now I'll just beat myself up about that as well. <sighs> anyway, this has gone on a lot longer than I thought. Apologies for crying like a bitch. I just feel overwhelmed. And I don't want anything spoiling pole for me. Because it's something I genuinely love and I feel passionate about. And 